Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap, Friday, March 5th. Let's go over today's trades and then I'll uh, give you a quick recap for the week. Uh, ended today plus $2,303.50. So great day, not only because of the P&L, but because of the way that we traded. And yes, I'm giving myself a pat on the back. I tore myself apart mentally, emotionally yesterday for my bad trading. So it's okay to pat myself on the back here today when I do something good. So I'm going to do that. Uh, all right. So going over the trade, starting with the mighty nineties, just had one for $130 in NVIDIA. Did a pairs trade in Dow versus NASDAQ, booked $280.50. And then the runners, uh, big runners, all winners. So no losers today at all. Uh, Beyond plus 424, Tesla plus 1209. Twitter 195 and Netflix small winner for 65. So on the runner total, uh, a little over $1,800. So good stuff there. Let's go over these trades and I'll come back and recap the week. Uh, starting with Nvidia. So let's go to Nvidia, which is our mighty 90 trade of the day. In Nvidia, uh, started getting this flush down, nice big volume spike. Uh, we got long right in here. Took a little bit of heat. I didn't add to it, just kind of held my uh, current position. It bounced and we got out right here. So booked a uh, booked a, a small profit of 130. And then on the uh, runners, so beyond beyond the meat, uh, had this big flush down, big spike in volume. Waited for a bounce, got short right here, and then just caught that little flush right there. I I got out of my last piece right down here near the bottom. Didn't set through any of this chop. Obviously could have taken more had I been wanting to hold on, but I just wanted to uh, take that off and book it. So booked 424 there. Uh, Tesla, my biggest winner in Tesla. So in Tesla, uh, this we were getting big volume bars. This one almost as big as the first. That one definitely bigger than the first. And when the rest of the market at this point in time was really rallying, Tesla just continued to chop sideways and stayed really, really weak. So it was right at about this point here, I got short and just rode this thing. I scaled out of half at this point and then held the rest right down here near the pivot and got out got out of the rest of it for plus 1,209. So that was a uh, my biggest trade was Tesla. And then Twitter, another downside volume runner. Uh, if we can look at Twitter, uh, big volume spike here on the second volume bar, waited for this bounce, got short. And I think I just got out right here after we got a couple couple of red bars. Just took took profits quick here. Uh, in hindsight, you know when it bounced back up to yesterday's low, that would have been a perfect entry to to re-enter and and take some more out of it. But uh, I just took some quick profits and ran. And then lastly, Netflix. Now, I, I gave myself a pat on the back for how I traded today. I, I would say Netflix would probably be the one trade that was a little bit borderline whether I should have taken it or not. I mean, here's what here's what we saw. We saw the market just kept flushing and pushing lower, pushing lower, pushing lower. We were waiting for for something to bounce and we were looking for, you know, some of the strongest stocks on the day. We looked at Netflix, we looked at uh, or excuse me, we were looking at Microsoft and Facebook which were holding strong. But then also Netflix had this big push up and most importantly had two big volume bars. So I waited for a pullback uh, for a potential continuation because it just felt like this market was going to bounce based on the price action of the indices and the other stocks. Uh, this thing pulled back, so I entered a long here. Uh, it kept going, kept going. Uh, I think I scaled into one more contract, like right here. And then when it got down to the lows of the day onto this pivot, uh, I jumped in with a couple more right there. It bounced. I took those two off, so booked, uh, you know, so got back some, and then just held the rest. And you know the market continued to get strong, continued to get strong. I almost took this off because uh, Netflix was not acting as strong as a lot of other stocks, not acting as strong as, as the market, but held on. You know, I just had a couple contracts left and finally it pushed up and I closed out, uh, I think right around you know, this area here and just booked a small profit of 65. So just kind of scratched that one uh, after taking a, taking a little bit of heat. So all in all, good day, plus 23, what did I say? Two thousand three hundred three fifty. Let me bring my sheet back here, and I'll, I'll recap the week. So on the week, uh, the mighty nineties uh, down six eighty one on the mighty nineties on just eight trades. Again, we've got to get on the mighty nineties. Our, our winning percentage really needs to be over that seventy percent mark, uh, where it, where's where we typically start to really book some significant profits. 
On the pairs trades, went three for four, took four of those, three of which were winners for plus 175 on the week. And then on the runners, uh, plus 744 on 27 trades. Terrible winning percentage, primarily due to the one in six performance on Thursday. Obviously, that one big NASDAQ uh, comeback was what made the difference in making our PL green. But uh, more, li- more, than, more often than not, if, if I have a winning percentage like that, uh, that is going to be a red week. So if we look at the summary for the week, uh, eked out a profit, $238. I will take it. Uh, let's, just, let's just call this week the week that we never speak of again, okay? It, 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 you know, we had some crazy price action early in the week. Obviously, on Thursday, it was just straight-up disaster pants. And so we're just going to call this week the week we never speak of. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be coming out on the positive end uh, with a winning percentage with all the trades, about 60%. So that is the week in review. If we look at our totals, since we've been tracking this, mighty 90s at a little over 8,300 in profit. Pairs trades a little over 1,000. Runners continuing to dominate over 41,000, a little over 50,000 uh, since, since back in August. If we look at our year-to-date summary, uh, we've got uh, just since uh, the beginning of 2021, uh, a little over 1,900 in Mighty 90s, a little over 200 bucks in pairs trades on just 11 trades. Uh, runners, uh, 12,452. So total profit year to date, 14,585.50. Uh, one thing I'm, I'm going to start doing is I want to start tracking my PL by day of the week. Uh, I I, I feel like I my a lot of my profits, my biggest profits come on Tuesday and Wednesday. And that's just a that's just what I have in my mind, whether that's reality or not. I haven't I haven't gone through. Uh I, I'm gonna have to go through and, and manually kind of do this and, and figure out uh my days of the week and, and, and start tracking the profit by day of week because I think uh that could shed a little bit of light on something. I, I feel like Mondays, I'm just trying to get the juices flowing, get in the in the flow of the market. Uh, sometimes Fridays are a little goofy, especially if I am in trades late in the morning. Uh, price tends to start grinding. And so uh, I'm interested to see if my thesis is correct, that those kind of midweek days are better. And part of the reason for me wanting to track this is, uh, A, I, that's just kind of the feeling I get. And then B, uh, when I when I'm feeling a little bit more confident after we've got through Monday and and then we've we kind of got the juices flowing and we're rocking and rolling, uh, it might start to increase size on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Now Thursdays, the reason I'm specifically saying more Tuesday Wednesdays because Thursdays is typically when we're trading the one day to expiration options. They can be a little wild because they're so close to expiration, very theta sensitive, very sensitive to the price movement of stocks. So when, on Tuesday and Wednesday, when we're trading those four days to expiration and, uh, uh, excuse me, three days to expiration and two days to expiration options, uh, that, those are my favorite to trade. So I think that probably has part, of it, uh, part to do with it as well. So I'll be, I'll be trying to update that maybe this weekend, and I'll, I'll share that in our next update. So that's all I got for you. Everybody have a fantastic weekend. Come back next week ready to rock and roll. We will be uh, streaming Monday through Thursday Next week, Friday, we'll be offline. I'll be traveling. And then the following Monday, we won't be streaming as well. So the 12th and the, I think it's the 12th and the 15th will be offline. But Monday through Thursday, we will be live uh, next week. Talk to you then. Have a good weekend.